Hi all, Namrata here and you are watching Simulink Tutorial. Today we are going to discuss about assignment block. Last time we discussed the same block with setting index on dialog. Today we are going to discuss it with index as an input. So without further ado, let's start with today's video. So I'll go to this subsystem and now if you remember in last part, y0 is default value that is it get assigned to the element which is not chosen u is the input signal value and if you recall last video then this idx that is index value it was not as an input but it was on dialog so i'll just go back to this index on dialog and you can see here there are only two inputs and index was on dialog now coming back to today's design the index is now as input if i click on this assignment block last time this setting was index vector on dialog now this is index vector as port if i go back to the old setting you can see here the bottom part of this dialog box is empty and if i click on index vector as port now you can see here there is additional setting that is initialize output y that is initialize using input port y0 or specify size for each dimension in table so what happens when you choose this other setting that we will see in another video but for today's video we will keep the setting that is initialize using input port y0 it means that in case the index value is not chosen the output signal for those indices will be assigned with this default y0 values So you can see here the index is from port that is IDX and output size inherit from Y0. So like the previous design, this output will inherit the size from this Y0 that is 3. And before we simulate this model, let's have a look at the signal. So signal 1 that is U is varying from 0 to 100 and the signal 2 which is index signal so you can see here the index value is now varying so it is varying from 1 2 and 3 i'll close this so if you recall the previous design there is advantage in this design is that you are not stuck with fixed index value rather you have index value varying so if your implementation requires an index signal which is a variable signal in that case you can use this design but in case if your design requires fixed index assignment then you can go with the previous design so with this design, this input signal U will be assigned to all output elements based on the index value. In case the index value is not chosen, the output will be this Y0. So I'll just simulate this design. So if I look at the output on this first scope, it's quite difficult to understand which signal is 1, which one is 2 and the third element. So I'll just close this one. So like previous example, I have separated the output elements using this selector blocks. So the first one will 
pass element 1 second one element 2 and the third one element 3 before we look at the output i have one question for you so i have used selected block to separate this signal elements we can use one more block to separate the signal elements and you have to think about it which block we can use if you know the answer then write your answer in the comment section below and let's observe the output i'll click on cursor so it will be easier to understand what's happening at what time interval so from time 0 to 1 we have index value equal to 3 so the third signal should be varying which is you can see here it is varying whereas the first and the second signal they are constant from 0 to 1 so the first element has value equal to 5 so it got assigned with the default value then the second one has value equal to 6 so it got assigned with the y0 second element and the third one as you can see it is varying from time t equal to 1 to 2 the index value is 1 so the first signal is varying whereas second and third element are constant so the second signal has value equal to 6 now let's see what is the value of third signal so you can see here the value is equal to 7 so if i just zoom in a little bit here you can see here the signal reached to around 10 and from time t equal to 1 it is 7 so always keep in mind that if the index value was chosen earlier and it got assigned with the input signal and in the next time sample if the index is not chosen in that case it will always be assigned with the default value it won't take the previous value but it will take the default value so moving on time t equal to 2 to 3 the index value is 2 and you can see here the second signal is varying whereas the first one it got assigned with default value and the third one also has default value so now you know that from this design you can use the assignment block to assign input signal to multiple output elements and you are not just stuck with one index value so to summarize you can use index on dialog when you have fixed index design requirements whereas index as input when you have variable index value requirement so in my next video we will see what is unassigned so if you like today's video hit like share and subscribe and till then keep watching and keep learning